the snow is coming down here in the metro and in southern Minnesota. Here is a live look at downtown Minneapolis. The flurry started to fall a few hours ago and it is starting to add up. Minnesota State Patrol says there have been 33 crashes in the state today and 37 vehicle spinouts. The WCCO weather watcher is green. That means there is more snow on the way and the snow isn't going to stop just yet. We have team coverage of this snowstorm that we're seeing. Matt Brickman is in the Weather Center tracking how much snow we're expecting and where. Mary McGuire is checking out the road conditions in Burnsville. Let's start with Matt Brickman here in the Weather Center for a look at the latest forecast. What is it going to look like for our afternoon and evening commute, Matt? Well, I mean, you saw the picture. It was small there, but Mary in Burnsville, I mean, already getting pretty bad there. And that's what I would expect Minneapolis and St. Paul to look like just in the next couple of hours. Those heavier snow bands have pushed into the metro just in the last hour or so, and it's really starting to stack up. Looks like an inch or two in the south metro right now, but there are parts of southern Minnesota with already eight inches of snow on the ground, and the winds are whipping as well. You can see those heavy snow bands through Egan into Stillwater, certainly down into Belle Plaine and Lakeville as well. Since we last spoke, the blizzard warning has been extended eastward, crossing over I-35 now. So Faribault, Owatonna, Albert Lee, Northfield, all under that blizzard warning as well as visibility has been cut way down over southern Minnesota, below a quarter mile in many spots there. We're really just getting started. This snow will continue through the afternoon into tonight before finally clearing out. So you look out your window right now and say, hey, that's not a whole lot of snow. Give it a couple of hours. It will be. Now, some areas, including Mankato, Owatonna, could receive more than a foot of snow before it's all said and done. Dozens of school across the state are closed because of the snowfall and the messy roads. Speaking of the messy roads, I don't know if anybody knows them as well as Mary McGuire does today. Back and forth over southern Minnesota. You can see her covered in snow. I'm going to stop talking so she can get out into the warmth quickly. Mary? Well, well, Matt, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is absolutely miserable outside. The combination of the wind and this heavy, wet snow has just made the roads a mess. And uh, the snow is blowing so hard, it's hard to see sometimes because those snowflakes are flying into my eyeballs. If you just take a look uh, behind me at this road, you can see what I'm talking about when it comes to visibility. Uh, things, it is blizzard like conditions here because the snow is falling so fast and the wind is blowing so hard. We spent the morning traveling across southern Minnesota where this thick, heavy snow was falling the hardest. Over in Owatonna, visibility was poor as people tried to navigate these snowy streets on their Monday morning commute. The National Weather Service says six inches of snow has fallen so far today. The blizzard conditions and near zero visibility made driving almost impossible, prompting MnDOT to issue a no travel advisory in several counties. It wasn't much better a little west in Wasika. As the snow kept on falling, people tried to dig out, plowing the sidewalks and streets. One woman we caught up with said it took her an extra 30 minutes to get to work this morning. Well, I live in Jordan, so it's about an hour commute to get here, um, and it's been absolutely horrible. Um, the snow probably started on my commute at like 6.30. Um, I couldn't see anything. There's absolutely no lights, so <laughs> it hasn't been very fun at all. Scary stuff, and we haven't seen a lot of snow this season. Are you happy to see it falling? I mean, a lot of Minnesotans, they like the snow. I actually love the snow as well. Um, however, driving in the snow is always horrible, so I'm not a fan at all. Horrible is an understatement. Uh, the state patrol here in Minnesota says that so far today there have been six jackknife semis. We saw one of them on 35 as we were traveling up here to Burnsville. A good thing that a lot of kids have a snow day today. This snow is great for making snowmen and snowballs. Not so great for driving, though. Yep, I think the um, young woman that you interviewed summed it up quite well. It's pretty, but not if you have to drive in it. All right, Mary, thank you.